Uh, hello. Uh, today we want to try and solve simultaneous equations using the graphical method. Um, simultaneous equation occurs when <clears throat> um, the equation is true in, in at one particular point for both of the um, expressions that we have. The expressions I'm going to use today, or, or sorry, the equations I'm going to use today will be uh, y equals minus x plus 3 and y also equals x minus 2. The, this is the uh, arrangement for the formula for a straight line, so the line will end up being straight, uh, that it has the formula y equals mx plus c. I hope you can see that. It's quite small writing, I'm sorry. Um, so what we need to do now is to plot the graph for these two equations and then look to see where they are simultaneous. Um, what I'm going to do now is to plot the, uh, I'll do it a bit lower, I'll plot the x-axis here. Uh, use the as much of the paper as you possibly can, go right the way across. Um, the larger the graph, in all circumstances, the more accuracy the, is of the, of the um, interpretation of the results. So there's the, I've just done the x-axis and there's the y-axis. Now we need to label the axes, specifically if you're doing an exam, of course. Um, and this is going to be plus x and plus y and minus x and minus y. We now need to give numbers to the uh, graduations on the scale and we've got one two, three, four, five. That should cover the details we have in the simultaneous equation. And here we have one, two, three, four, five. And th these are uh, negative values. Um, but because I put minus x here, we don't need to put minus signs on there. Uh, similarly with the positives, one, two, three, four. And finally, on the y-axis, one, two, three, and four. Four should be enough there. Right, now we need to do is to look at what the actual equation says. This is y equals, in this case, minus x, which means there's going to be a value which will give a slope that is going in this direction, i.e. from left to right downwards. And, but it's minus 1x, or it's minus 1, or m is the 1, uh, so in mx plus c. So we've got now minus x, but the c is actually the um, y-intercept for the line itself. So we know one position for the line already. And that is going, and that is in this case plus 3, if I can just clarify that, plus 3. And therefore I can instantly choose the coordinate for part of the line. The line will go through that particular place there. Now, the next thing is that this is minus x, therefore the uh, value is going to be coming downwards, as I said, and it's 1x. Now, there, if the slope, this m, mx is the slope, the, the steepness of the slope, and the slope is going to be what we call the rise, r-i-s-e, which is the y-axis, over the run, which is the x-axis. And if we've got a fraction like this, these are values, obviously, uh, of whatever they are. If we've got a, 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 a fraction like this and the answer must be 1, then the top and the bottom must be equal. So we could have, say, 2 over 2. But this is minus 2, don't forget. So this is minus 2. Therefore, th the answer to this is actually equals minus 1. I hope that's clear. It might be better uh, when it's uh, projected. <clears throat> now we need a minus one. Now to get a minus one, um, we need, like I say, um, two values that are the same uh, as the um, numerator and the, uh, sorry, the numerator and the denominator. So um, what would be a value? Let's have minus two. So if we come down from three down to minus two, we can look at this point here, and then we're going to go across to to this point here. Now I can I can confidently put across there. This is minus two three down to one plus 3 down to plus 1. 
is minus 2. And we're going plus 2, this plus 2, on the x-axis. Now, we could join those two together, but supposing we've made a mistake, let's try plot another little bit to the graph, and we'll have something like, say, uh, minus 3 and plus 3, which would put us there. Now we've got 3. They look like they line up, so I think I can safely draw the line of the graph, which is equivalent to y equals minus x plus 3, straight through there. And we've got the first part of the equation, the simultaneous equation, done. Now we need to look at the second part. If you look here, now the value of the y-intercept where the line crosses the y-axis is minus 2. Um, so we can safely put that in there, can't we? Look. So I'll put that there. Now, um, this is plus x, unlike this minus x. So this plus x could be 2 over 2. Rise over run could be uh, 2 over 2. That equals plus 1. We don't normally put the plus sign, but that'll do. So now we need 2 goes across to 2. Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon. <coughs> um, yes, 2 goes across to plus 2, which is there. And then we could do, say, 3 and 3, which is there. And then we could say 4, and you can go on forever doing this, 4, which is there, and so on. And now I can successfully draw in the line. That's you know, enough. Three is enough. Two is enough, really, if you're very careful. Um, four is definitely enough. And I can draw in the line there. And now we have a place here where the two values are exactly equal. And what are the values for the x and y when they cross over? In this particular case, on the y-axis, we have y equals 0 0.5. It's half of 1, isn't it? It's, it's there. It's half of 1 here. Okay. And then we've got the x equals 1 to hmm, 2 and a half, 2.5. And that is really the, the, the solving of the simultaneous equation. We've answered the question, and that's fine. Now, the next thing we need to do, though, because we don't stop there, we might have made a mistake somewhere. You know, these are relatively easy numbers we're dealing with, but we might have made a mistake somewhere. So now what we do is to slot the values for y and x into both of the original equations. So we've got y. Now, y, up looking up there, is 0 0.5. Yes, that's the y, is equal to x, in this case, minus 2.5. Do you remember? It was minus mx, and plus 3, and that equals, well, that's true, sorry, it doesn't equal anything, minus 2.5 plus 3, tick. Okay, and now we need another uh, value of y for the second equation, and we've got y equals 0 0.5. And that equals, sorry, I'll put that in there. And that equals x, uh, which is 2.5, plus 2.5, don't forget, minus 2.5, 2.5, minus 2, once again, plus 0.5. So we've now solved the equation by using this rise over run method, plus putting the line through the uh, intercept, which is c. And now we've got a situation whereby we can choose the y value is 0 0.5, the x value is 2.5. Slotting them back into the equation will prove that what we've actually achieved is true. I hope that helps. Thank you, and I'll see you again.